welcome to my channel or welcome back for those of you who don't know me my name is Maria and I'm so happy you took some time to stop by today I am back from vacation so you might have seen my um, trip vlog and I wanted to share what I picked up while I was in Europe it wasn't a shopping trip by any means um, we were there you know, we traveled a little bit throughout France because we had a wedding. We had a few friends to see. Um, so we moved around a lot. And then we took the train, the Eurostar, to the UK, to London. And we just spent a couple days there. Um, and it was my first time there. So it was much more of a trip about um, exploring and just seeing the, the main attractions if you will within London that I've never seen um, and so we walked a ton a ton but it wasn't you know we didn't do Bond Street I wasn't on a shipping uh, a shopping spree per se at all um, plus with the exchange rate between the Great British Pound and the Canadian dollar it hurts <laughs> it's painful so um, it wasn't a lot of shopping um, but I still picked up a couple things that I wanted to share with you and you know Phil and I are already starting to think about going back next year to UK and really doing you know again London but then maybe flying into Ireland um, but we want to go back to the UK I loved it too much I loved it way too much and it wasn't nearly long enough um, and it was wonderful because it was really easy for me to eat in the UK, which was amazing. <laughs> I struggled to eat in, in France uh, with my celiac, but London was amazing. So anyway, it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. I have nothing, nothing bad to say. It was wonderful. And now I'm back at reality. Um, so I really wanted just to share the, the few little things I picked up. So let's get right into it. Um, first thing when we were in France um you know the first few days we were with our friends at their house and you know we explored that area and then uh, Phil and I just did a little road trip to Saint-Malo um, a couple days just the two of us and I picked up this bracelet which I showed in my vlog and it's gold plated with um La Bradorite which is probably my favorite stone um, I always have La Braderette on me. I either have this or Citrine with me all the time. It's a really good stone to, um, you know, push away negative energy. And I just really, really thought it was really, really pretty. So this is from a company called Habaha Paris. It came in this little pouch, so cute. Um, and I've been wearing it and it's adjustable. I've been wearing it a lot. I just, I love it. They had a lot of different stones to choose from, but of course I saw La Bradorite and I, I had to get this one. So I got that. Um, I also got a pair of Stan Smiths. I washed them this morning because they were kind of dirty because <laughs> I wore them the rest of the trip, literally. These shoes were lifesavers, honestly. I, I love them. <laughs> Never knew I would love casual shoes so much um but they're extremely comfortable and I chose with this um deep red leopard uh back I just I fell in love with that and um there they are so those are amazing and they were literally in my feet the entire trip after I bought them an interesting fact about those I went to the store and I was trying on different sneakers and, you know, I asked for a size seven in those, which is my typical size. And when I had looked at them on the Adidas website, it was telling me at 90%, you're going to be a size seven uh, or 38. Um, so that's what I asked for. And I tried them on and they were way too big. <laughs> so, okay, I'll go down a half size. Anyway, I ended up going down a full size. So in these, I'm actually a size six or 37 and not a size 7 um, so interesting 
but uh, I love them. I love them so much. And we got Phil a pair of really nice dress shoes for the wedding. Um, a nice pair of black leather, um, beautiful shoes. And uh, he really enjoyed them. <laughs> so there you go. So that was pretty much it for France. We didn't really shop because we weren't in Paris. We barely touched Paris. So uh, which is fine because we've been to Paris multiple times and now is more of a chance to see other regions within France that we had never seen, um, to see our friends, to be at the wedding. It was just extremely special, so it was nice. Then um, we took the train in to London and there I have just a couple things that I picked up that I wanted to share with you. So. We visited Westminster Abbey, which was wonderful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and so I went to the little Westminster Abbey shop and there I got an ornament. So that's always what I bring back from trips, um, our ornaments. And that's what I love about putting up my Christmas tree every year is my tree is memories that's literally what it is it's memories so um sorry i was trying to get it out of that <laughs> bubble wrap um and i saw this glass one and i just loved it so it's this angel and just on the back it has the sticker glass ornament westminster abbey so i'll leave that on probably but um it's just really pretty i really really loved it I really, really loved it. It's very reminiscent of stained glass and Westminster Abbey has plenty of stained glass. It's absolutely, absolutely stunning. I'm a very big fan of stained glass. I absolutely love it. I have a lot of stained glass within my home. Um, so that's what I picked up from the Westminster Abbey shop. Then um, we went to the Harry Potter studio tour, uh, which was so much fun. Oh my goodness. I have a lot of content for that on my vlog. Um, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and it was just a thrill to be there. I was a 37 year old child, uh, within that tour. <laughs> Uh, Phil humored me through the whole thing. He enjoyed it too, but I was, I was loving it. And so we went to the little, the making of Harry Potter, um, shop and I just picked up a couple things. Um, oh, first thing is I got the, um, souvenir, the little bowl that came with the butterbeer ice cream. Um, so that's fun. I'm going to use that. It's going to be my little dessert dish because um, I couldn't have the the ice cream in the cone, but I could have it in the bowl. So that's why I took it in the bowl. Um, I got <laughs> the Luna Lovegood gloss just because I thought it was so darn cute with the spectacles and it's what I have on my lips now and it, it smells so nice like fruity. It has this really nice shine. And what I really love about it, I was surprised when I put it on, is it's almost like that Lip Maximizer by Dior. It has that tingly and plumping factor to it. So I realize that's not for everybody. But I saw this and I was like, yeah, I want a Luna Love Good lip gloss. Um, <laughs> it just made me super happy. And actually, before we went, the day right before we went to the Wizarding World, we went there on the Wednesday. On the Tuesday in London, there's this store called House of Spells. And it's full, like full of Harry Potter stuff. Um, they also have other, other um, things like, you know, um, Game of Thrones and uh, just a bunch of different other shows. They have memorabilia there. Um, but Harry Potter is probably like three quarters of the store. 
Harry Potter slash Fantastic Beasts. Um, and there was a sweatshirt I saw there and I loved it. But I told, you know, Phil and I talked and we we're like, you know, we're going to the Wizarding World tomorrow. Let's wait and see if there's something you like, we like, I'll like better there. And if not, we'll go back to House of Spells to get that sweatshirt. But it sold. Literally my size or I'm almost every sweatshirt, <laughs> like in every size of that model sold. So it was really sad. I didn't get to get it. And I really liked it better than anything that was at the Wizarding World in terms of sweatshirts. But that's okay. Um, I saw that the website, they ship worldwide. So I'll just keep my eye out. And if that sweatshirt comes back, I am going to order it because I, I really liked it. Um, what else did I order? Did I get here? Oh, this. I thought it was so cute. Oh my god. It's this leather, this like suede leather rope and it has the Deathly Hollows. And I don't have the Deathly Hollows on my Pandora bracelet. I regret not buying it now and I can't find it. Um, but it looks super cool, like as a choker. So I saw that and I loved it. So I grabbed it. And last, uh, the last item I got at the Wizarding World is in here. It is an ornament in this really cool Harry Potter tissue paper. Looks like a newspaper. It's really nice. Um, and I got this ornament. Phil and I really, really loved it. So it's Hogwarts Railways with the Hogwarts crest. And then on the back you have Warner Brothers, Wizarding World, Harry Potter. So I love it and red and gold, perfect for my tree. Um, it's just really beautiful. It's very, very heavy. So excited about that. But yeah, I really enjoy bringing back ornaments. Um, you know, it's not something that's collecting dust and it's very sentimental and special. And so that's why I, I just really love to collect ornaments. That's Harry Potter. Uh, then a huge highlight for me was going to Aspinall of London. I did go to the Aspinall store on Regent Street. Um, it was an extremely special, special time. Uh, I was with a good, good friend uh, and it was magical. It was just magical. And so I did make a purchase uh, with that friend's help and you know who you are. Um, and so, it's actually a different bag because that's the second time I went. Haha, <laughs> I went back. Uh, this is what I got. And if this is not a, an actual unboxing because I did end up using this piece while um, the last two days of my trip because I wanted this piece to have a few memories uh, within it of exploring London. So, and if you saw my vlog, you know what this is. I got a Aspinall of London Midi Mayfair in the um, Deep Shine Croc. So this is not the patent leather. It is really just a, a shine croc, but it's much more smushy um, than the, the patent leather. It's not going to be as much of a dust magnet, if you will, and it's just beautiful. I had so much fun playing with it and trying to figure out if this is the bag I wanted. I'd hesitated a lot. I was considering a camera A bag in another color because I love my red one so much. It's actually right there. <laughs> I changed right into it when I got back home. And I'm in love with this bag, in love with this bag. It looks awesome, obviously dressy, but it looks really cool with a pair of jeans. So love it. Um, so you have the Aspinall of London, England. And this is a little push button right here that you press 
and it slips up. And then the inside is this beautiful red. Okay, you have Aspinall of London, England stamped right there. You have a little zip pocket, super, super smooth zip. And this bag either comes with a chain or a leather strap, like with the same crock. Um, I want one of the chain straps, so I have the chain strap. So you can wear this as a shoulder bag, as a crossbody. It's perfect for crossbody. Uh, it's the perfect length. It's not adjustable, but it, it just looks perfect. And you clip it on these little loops that are here. I can do it right now just to show you. Um, it's a stunner. It really is a stunner. I've hesitated between black and um, the light gray, which is called cloud. I really loved that cloud color. Um, but, and then I thought for my first Mayfair, I'm going to go with a classic black that I know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of. And, you know, maybe down the line, I would eventually when there's a sale order another Mayfair or maybe next year when I go back <laughs> in, um, in a nice light gray like that, that would be really nice. So it looks really cute with the chain. And on the back, it has um, a magnetic slip pocket here. Oh, and it has a four beautiful feet. So it protects the bag when you're setting it down. I love it. Love it. And then, um, I ended up going back you <clears throat> on my last day in London I ended up going back to Aspinall uh, because I wanted to look for on there I have the webbing strap um, and I wanted to get another one but in the black uh, so black pebbled leather gold hardware and the stripes are black white and gray and I really wanted that bag I thought it would look really cute also with like for example my coach uh, coach Cassie 19 uh, in black, I thought it would look really cool with that strap, but they didn't have any in stock. They had the silver, but not the gold. So they said, but it's online, so I could order it online. So that's great. And while I was there, I thought, oh, I'm going to look at the neck scarves because I've always been like, I keep looking at the neck scarves online, but it's nice to see them in person, right? So I took advantage of that. And so I got one. Um, so in here, there's actually two boxes. I'm only going to open one because the other one is a gift. Um, it's a thank you gift, uh, for someone who took really good care of my kitties while we were away. Really, really good care. So that's what that is. Alrighty. I want to open the right one. <laughs> okay. It's in here. And I got this one. Um, this is the one I was most drawn to online. And when I saw it in person, I just loved it. It's so beautiful in this deep burgundy and navy and gold. Um, it's just stunning, this color combination. I absolutely love it. Aspinall of London, 100% silk, and it's beautiful. So it'll be beautiful around my neck for sure. That's super elegant. But it will also look really nice around this bag or around my Margot's, both my black and my navy. So I'm not going to actually tie it up, but I'm going to give you an idea what it looks like on. Okay, so... Purely for an example here, but just to kind of see the 
just how that's gonna look, that purple, burgundy, navy with the black. It's gonna look really pretty. And yeah, with my Margot's, it's gonna look fabulous. So I loved it. And I'm happy to finally have a piece of Aspinall of London silk in my collection. Um, those who've been watching me a while know how much I love my silk scarves. So I'm very excited about this. Then after going back to Aspinall, um, we were walking down the street and we went to Fortnum and Mason. I really wanted to bring back some tea. And so I brought back some goodies uh, for some family as well. So as a gift, I picked up Fortnum and Mason's chocolate pearl biscuits in this pretty pink tin. So these are um, chock full of Vol Volerhona chocolate pearls. <laughs> I don't know really what that is, but um, my sister who just loves chocolate with all her heart, I got these for her. I got this for my mom. Uh, Fortnum and Mason Platinum Jubilee Chocolate and Macadamia Nut Biscuits. And it is a special collection for the Queen's Jubilee, the Platinum Jubilee, uh, for her 70 year reign. And it's a, a musical tin, which is really nice. So I figured she'll be able to use this even um, when she's done these biscuits, she'll be able to use it for her Chex Mix or she always has candies or little Hershey Kisses chocolates and stuff in her, in her living room. Um, I thought she could even put them in this. I just thought it was really special and with with you know representing the jubilee which was this year too that well it is this year 2022 and we were lucky enough to be in the uk you know the year of the jubilee i picked this up i shouldn't have done that because it won't stop now and for myself i picked up tea and i went for the platinum jubilee tea um I was smelling all of the different teas within Fortnum and Mason and actually really, really loved this limited edition Jubilee tea blend in this absolutely beautiful can. So I assure you with the horses on it, I mean, and um, I'll definitely be reusing this. this. So it says this rich platinum Jubilee blend tea has been created especially to celebrate the 70 years of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's reign. The tin's design honors the woman behind the crown, bringing together little known facts that celebrate the queen's extraordinary life. So I got that. So that was fun. And this is a blend of teas from India, Sri Lanka, and China. With mellow sweetness and golden brightness, this noble tea is truly fit for a queen. So it's a black tea and it smells absolutely divine and I cannot wait to taste it. And this store is absolutely stunning. Um, there was also a recipe book for like scones and tea time uh, treats. I didn't buy it because the British pound again, so expensive for the conversion, but I found it on Amazon and it's on my list. I will be ordering that book for sure. I'll link it below if I, well, I, I know where it is, so I'll link it below. And then last but not least, when we were in the airport, because I didn't get to go to the store, uh, we didn't have time while I was in London, uh, I went to the Harrods that was at the airport and I picked up just a couple little things. I'm not a stuffed animal gal, okay? But I saw this and I melted. I just melted, so the little Harrods ta tag here has Herod's embroidered in the foot and it's wearing the Union Jack uh, sweater and it's just so cute it's so and it's so soft like it doesn't feel like a cheap stuffed animal it's just has a little Herod's tag there I don't know they had a big size and they had the small size and I saw it and I was like Phil I just love it so much um I couldn't explain it 
I just thought it was the cutest thing. So yes, I got myself a teddy bear. <laughs> um, but it was literally love at first sight. I just, I loved it. And I knew that if I wasn't going to get him, I would have regretted it. And then I just got one tiny little thing also at Harrods and it is all wrapped up here. But I saw this and I absolutely loved it. But I didn't have time to go clothes shopping or anything like that within uh, within London. I got a little bag charm. I just loved it. They had black and they had pink. I went for the black leather with gold and you can either use it as a bag charm or as a key ring if you wanted to. Um, and then on the back it has the H for Harrods. But I really liked it and I just thought it looked super cute. For example, um, if I clip it. So it would look really cute as a little bag charm. So I'm definitely going to be using that because I think it's adorable and um, just a really nice memory of a fabulous trip. A little Herod's charm. And that is it. That's what I picked up during my holiday. So not too bad. <laughs> um, and, you know, Phil and I are like, we already planning to go back to the UK and I'm, you know, we're going to be budgeting actually spending money to um you know do a shopping spree next time we go and really have fun um but we were more on a budget this time and because we knew we were moving around a lot and seeing a lot of people it was just a whole different type of trip but it was wonderful it was absolutely wonderful memories forever um uk is going to be near and dear to my heart forever now and um yeah so let me know what you think um do you like what i picked up uh do you not like what i picked up share Let, let's have that discussion down below um where would you recommend to go shopping when you go to europe or where do you like to go um just let's have a conversation down below i love chatting with you all and there you are. So thank you so, so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves and I'll see you very, very soon.